Hey, YouTube, Merle Cox here. Recently, I was asked a question on uh, YouTube. It was under one of the videos that I did called Voice Meter Inputs and Outputs. Scott Fitcher asked, is it possible to assign sound from a website as a virtual input? And the answer is yes. There are actually several ways you can do that. And I'm going to show you my preferred way. Now, my preferred way, you have to be using Chrome as your web browser. Um, and that is because there's a plugin that I use. So let's switch over to my desktop here. And there's the plugin. But first, right here is Voice Meter Potato. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to route all the audio from my web browser, that the website that comes up, and I'm going to route it to a virtual audio cable that I have configured here in voice meter. So if you go over to channel, remember this is channel zero, channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four right here. So I'm going to left click on that and you'll see I have virtual audio cable B selected. So any input on virtual audio cable B will come into this channel right here. Okay. So you got to remember that virtual audio channel B. Okay. So now the, the extension that Chrome uses and that you can get in the Chrome web store here is called audio pick. Okay. So you install that extension. And then what happens is up here on the top in this toolbar here, you will see the icon audio pick current tab. If I left click on that, you will see I have speaker VB audio cable B selected. So this allows me to route to the various um, physical or virtual cables that I have installed on my machine. So again, we're going to pick virtual audio cable B. So any audio being played in this tab right here will be routed to virtual audio cable B. And back here on voice meter potato, again, I left click, that's virtual audio cable B. So I'll go back to my YouTube channel, or the, the YouTube channel here, I'm gonna hit play. And as you can see, it's muted right now, but I'll unmute it. And now you are hearing the audio when I unmute from this YouTube video. Here it is. Uh, but upon meeting, so there you go. Meeting him, you can see me up that in is the attic. audio from and now this he wants video to me with duct tape. being so played right now. Coming in to virtual audio uh, cable B, let's, uh, let's which is channel man. four yeah, so right here. As we know, All right, I'm going to mute, mute that right now. So you can see <clears throat> that's the easiest way to route audio from a website into voice meter. And then of course I am routing it to um, A1, which are my headphones that I have right here so I can hear it. And then B3, which is the output. That's I'm recording all the audio in OBS that is coming through B3, which that's how you're able to hear it. So really that's the easiest way. So yeah, audio pick is a great extension that uh, allows you to route audio from a website to any hardware or virtual audio cable that you have installed on your machine. So I hope that makes sense. If you got any questions, leave them below. And um, hey, thanks for supporting me. I just do this for fun. So there's no fancy intros or outros. It's just my way of giving back because, you know, there's a lot of people who have helped me. So hopefully this helped you. So until next time, you guys take care. We'll see you around.